everyone, this is Karen. Hello everybody, I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of Tom Holland. From ballet to Spider-Man and beyond. Mm -hmm. And the vocabulary words are studio. Studio. Larissa signed up for dance classes at a studio close to her house. Suggest. Suggest. My friend Terry suggested a great restaurant for us to try. Nice. Mm. Guidance. Guidance. I got into my dream school thanks to my parents' guidance. Achievement. Achievement. Finding a cure for the disease is perhaps the scientist's greatest achievement. Mm -hmm. Lifetime. Lifetime. My dad doesn't believe climate change will be solved in his lifetime. So we're talking about Tom Holland, the famous actor. Right. Have you ever seen Billy Elliot? Yes, I have. And I didn't know that was Tom Holland. I didn't know that either. I didn't make the connection between Billy Elliot because he was pretty young. That's right. When he played Billy Elliot, I didn't know that there was a connection between that and Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. But I love the movie Billy Elliot. Me too. So good. It was a good performance by Tom Holland. And then you can tell that he is a great dancer. Right. So he always did have a natural talent, right? And he For did, dancing. And he liked dancing. And Performing. He, and his mother always knew that he was going to do something big one day, right? That's right. So she did actually support him in this dream. And then he did try out for... Uh, started to learn ballet so that he could do Billy Elliot. Mm-hmm. I think he trained for a little while and then he landed this role. And that's pretty impressive. And it led to a huge thing, mm -hmm. which is <laughs> becoming Spider-Man. Spider Spider-Man. And he signed a six-picture deal. So mm. that means six Spider-Man movies. That's that a lot of money. Okay, I think he, has, he would have enough money for the rest of his life. That's so cool. <laughs> He's a really talented That's actor. That's definitely his big break. Okay, let's learn more about Tom Holland. All right, let's go. Tom Holland, from ballet to Spider-Man and beyond. Tom Holland's mother always knew he had star power, even when he was just a baby. He just wouldn't quit dancing. So when he was old enough, she signed her son up for hip-hop dance classes at a local studio in London. She never imagined this would set him on a path to Hollywood. Today's lesson is called Tom Holland, From Ballet to Spider-Man and Beyond, Part 1. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. And if anyone has been out to the movies in the last few years, you might have heard of these, you know, these Marvel superheroes movies, these Avengers movies, you definitely know Tom Holland. He's Spider-Man, or at least he's been Spider-Man for, well, it must be close to 10 years now. He's been Spider-Man for quite a long time, for sure. five different movies, and of course he's still a very young guy, a young actor, but he's had quite an interesting career so far and he's got some cool things coming up for us to enjoy. So let's find out more about Tom Holland and how he went from ballet to Spider-Man and what he's going to continue to do. Hmm. He went from ballet, ballet yeah. to Spider-Man. Who knew? Interesting. Anyways, Tom Holland's mother always knew he had a star power, or had star power, I should say, even when he was just a baby. He just wouldn't quit dancing. So he was a young dancer, but no, he wasn't actually ballet dancing from the beginning. It was a different form of dance. He loved to dance, but not necessarily in classical ballet. So next we read, so when he was old enough, she, that's his mother, she signed her son up for hip hop dance classes at a local studio in London. Ah, okay. So like a lot of young kids, it wasn't ballet that was so interesting to him. It was hip hop dancing dancing to hip-hop music, break dancing, 
things like that. That's what he really wanted to learn. And sure, if you're going to learn a type of art or perform or even practice or do a type of art, a studio is the kind of place you might do it. We often think of a studio as a space where artists work in some kind of way. A painter's studio might be a big open place with lots of windows to let in light. A dance studio would have very little furniture, just a big open floor, some mirrors on the wall. And that's where dancers would practice and perform, mostly practicing, mostly working on their art, and then they might take the art out of the studio, put it in a gallery if it's a painter, a painter, or perform it on a stage if it's a dancer. But whether where they do the work, where they do their practice, that would be in a studio. For example, Larissa signed up for dance classes at a studio close to her house. All right, so it was hip hop dance. Now his mother was probably thinking this would be, you know, good exercise, good to get his energy out. He likes to dance. You know, maybe he'll get to perform with a pop star or be in a music video. But to go from hip hop to superhero movies, that probably wasn't what that, she expected. That probably did not occur to her、no. at that point. She thought, "All right, we'll start him off there at the、mm -hmm. hip hop dancing. All right, and then maybe we'll advance to ballet." Because no one ballet dances out of the womb, but yes,、yeah, she never imagined this. The start in hip hop、mm. dancing class would set him on a path to Hollywood.、Mm. Anyways, folks, with that, let's go ahead and take a break. But when we come back, we'll hear more about Tom Holland. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天要介绍的人物是 Tom Holland， 汤姆霍兰德。那如果同学们有在看这个漫威出的电影，应该对他不陌生。最近这几年的蜘蛛人都是他饰演的。那么 Tom Holland 的母亲从他还是小 baby 的时候就知道他有明星才能。那等他长大年纪够大的时候，妈妈就在伦敦当地一间舞蹈练习室来帮儿子报名了嘻哈舞蹈课。他从来没有想过这会让他儿子踏上好莱坞之路。好，这边有一个单字是 studio。Studio， 它是指练习室，像是指这个舞蹈练习室，也可以指像艺术家的工作室或是录音室等等。好，那我们补充一下，标题里面用到 ballet， 它是指芭蕾舞，而文中说的这个 hip hop 则是指嘻哈音乐。那 Mike 老师刚刚说的 break dancing 则是指霹雳舞、地板舞。好，那我们刚刚说到从小 baby 的时候就有明星才能 ，Jeff 老师开玩笑说啊，没有人会从母亲的子宫一路跳舞跳出来吧？好，我们顺便学一下子宫的英文是 womb，w o m b， 这个 b 不发音念作 womb。好，接着回到课文中。Tom Holland from ballet to Spider Man and beyond. When Holland was ten years old, a talent scout suggested he try out for Billy Elliot the Musical, a play about a young boy who follows his dream of becoming a ballet dancer. Holland didn't know ballet, but with his dance teacher's guidance, he trained for two years and landed a part. He did so well that he was given the title role after only two months of performing. This was Holland's big break. Okay, when Holland was ten years old, a talent scout suggested he try out for Billy Elliot the Musical, a play about a young boy who follows his dream of becoming a ballet dancer. So there you go. He was in hip hop class there, and he wasn't necessarily going to move on to ballet, but hey. A talent scout saw him and said, "You've got to try out for this musical. You're perfect for it. You're going to knock it out of the park. It'll be a home run for you." Anyways, this talent scout suggested he try this out. If you suggest something to someone, you recommend this thing to them. You say you should probably do this. For example, my friend Terry suggested a great restaurant for us to try. Okay, moving on. So, 
Billy Elliot mm -hmm. the Musical. It, That's right. It, not the movie, nope. the musical. That's right. Very popular musical in London. And one of those musicals where there's a kid in the main role as Billy Elliot. And as the kids grow up, right, they need to find new people to continue on mm. the role. So this is a good chance for a young actor with some dancing skills to get a pretty big job, a pretty big role. But of course, Tom Holland was a hip-hop dancer. Billy Elliot is not a hip-hop musical. It's about a young guy who does ballet. So Holland didn't know ballet, but with his dance teacher's guidance, he trained for two years and landed a part. He basically wow. had to learn how to ballet dance from scratch, from zero. It took him two years. He had some dancing ability, but hip-hop and ballet, not a lot of similarity mm. there. So he needed guidance from a teacher. And that's what teachers give people. They give people guidance. They give them advice. They give them wisdom. They give them training and knowledge. They show them skills. They answer their questions. They basically set you on they a path. They suggest They stuff. suggest stuff. They set you on a path to success. And if you follow their guidance, if you follow their instruction, listen to what they want to teach you, then you will be successful. For example, I got into my dream school thanks to my parents' guidance. I asked them, hey, I want to go to this great school. What should I do? And they suggested all these things. So I listened to their advice. I took their guidance. So two years of yeah. hard work. Now he Two was a years. ballet dancer. Two years of his life. That's right. Okay. Now he was a ballet dancer. But it all worked. Yeah. Two years of his life, but mm -hmm. he did land this role. Yeah, he did so well that he was given the title role Whoa. after only two months of performing. Oh. So he was an understudy, perhaps, for a couple of months. And then they said, hey, this person is doing better than the lead. Let's give him the lead. And this was Holland's big break. He was Billy Elliot, he not was, boy dancer number three. He was no, he was no longer wow. boy dancer name unknown number three. Right. He was Billy Elliot's star. star. This it. was tall. This this was Holland's big break. Wow. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 在 Tom Holland 十岁的那一年，有一位星探就建议他去试镜，去试这个舞动人生音乐剧。那这出剧是关于一个小男孩追求梦想，成为芭蕾舞者。Tom Holland 他跳的是嘻哈舞蹈，那他对芭蕾一窍不通。可是，在这个舞蹈老师的指导下，他受训两年，获得一个角色。那由于他表现非常优秀，才短短表演两个月就变成主角了。我们先来看两个单字 ，suggest。Suggest 这个动词表示建议、提议。Guidance, guidance 这个名词是指指导、引导。那它是不可数名词。刚刚老师们聊到嘻哈舞和芭蕾舞没有太多相似处。Tom Holland 他必须从零从头开始学。那在他受训之后，可能就只是先得到候补演员的角色，后来才变成主角。好，补充一下，老师们有用到 from scratch。这个 scratch 是拼作 s c r a t c h， 那么 from scratch 就可以表达从头开始，从零开始。还有用到 similarity， 就是在 similar 后面加上 i t y 变成名词 ，similarity 可以表达相似性或是类似。那么还有说到 understudy， u n d e r s t u d y。understudy 可以用来指候补演员、替脚的意思。解华课文中。Tom Holland, from ballet to Spider-Man and beyond. By the time Holland was 16, he was getting major parts in films as well as excellent reviews. Despite his achievements, he didn't feel successful. His mom even sent him to carpentry school as a backup plan in case acting didn't work out. However, at the age of 19, he got the offer of a lifetime. A six-picture deal to play Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, Holland, he has hit the big time. He landed the lead role there in Billy Elliot the Musical. Well done, and. 
By the time Holland was 16, he was getting major parts in films as well as excellent reviews. Now that's important, okay? He was getting those good parts, but the critics also liked him. Not only was he getting these parts, but he was doing a good job, and people were noticing that. He had talent, yeah, and people were definitely paying attention. All right, so let's see what it says next. Yes, despite his achievements, he didn't feel successful. He thought, eh, I'm not that great. I've done a couple of good things, I guess, but am I really all that successful? Nah. Anyways, here we have the noun achievement to talk about. An achievement is something noteworthy, cool, great, awesome that you do successfully. If you reach a goal that you've really been working hard to achieve and you get there, that's an achievement. Graduating from college is an achievement. Climbing a mountain is an achievement. Completing a project at school can be an achievement. Putting your socks on in the morning, not an achievement. That wasn't, too, that wasn't hard to do. The same thing goes for drinking a cup of coffee in the morning, so on, so forth. For example, finding a cure for the disease is perhaps the scientist's greatest achievement. There you go, finding a cure for a disease. Now that's an achievement. Okay, so Tom Holland didn't mm. think he was all that successful. And I guess his mom shared these feelings hmm. because his mom even sent him to carpentry school as a backup plan in case acting didn't work out. Wow, very interesting. So his mom thought, well, you might have skills as a dancer and success as an actor, but you need to have something in case this whole show business thing just doesn't happen carpentry. for you. Carpentry, making things with your hands out of wood, tables and chairs and carving cabinets and stuff like that. Well, you know, we might laugh, but you can make a lot of money as a skilled carpenter. And Jesus was a carpenter. That, that too, but you can make a lot of money as a carpenter. It's one of those skills you can always have, like being a chef or yeah. something like that. So there you go. So we had this other backup plan. A backup plan is like a plan B in case plan A, in case your, case your first day plan doesn't work out, at least you won't be completely lost. You'll have this backup plan in case things don't work out. So let's read on and find out if things worked out for Tom Holland. Well, it says, however, at the age of 19, he made a table. No, no, no. However, at the age of 19, he got the offer of a lifetime, a six-picture deal to play Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The MCU. You yeah. can make a lot of money as a carpenter, but you make more money being Spider-Man in Hollywood movies. A little bit more. All right, so yes, this is definitely the offer of a lifetime, all right? Your lifetime is that period when you're alive. From the day you're born to the day you die, that is your lifetime. Now, of course, here we don't know. He's still a young man. He could live a lot longer. Maybe someone will offer to make him king of Spain. We don't know. That would be the offer of a life. Not likely, but it would be a good offer. The offer of a lifetime is basically the most wonderful thing anyone has ever said. Here, do you want this? It's amazing. It's a wonderful, or a wonderful opportunity for him. The offer of a lifetime. The best offer his whole life. For example, my dad doesn't believe climate change will be solved in his lifetime. In the period he's alive, he thinks the climate will always be in trouble. Your dad sounds like a smart guy. Yeah. All right, folks, with that, today's lesson is now in the books, and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Take care. See you next time. 刚刚说 Tom Holland 才短短表演两个月就成了舞动人生音乐剧的主角。那么 Jeff 老师用到 hit the big time 来描述他，这个用语就可以表达在一夕之间大名大放，短时间就大获成功或是出名的意思。那么课文接着写到 ，Tom Holland 十六岁的时候已经在电影里取得要角，并且有获得好评。那尽管有这些成就，他并不觉得自己很成功。他母亲甚至还把他送去木工学校来学习一技之长，以免这个演艺工作不顺遂，他还可以当做备案。
那就在他十九岁的时候呢，他得到了千载难逢的工作邀约，也就是我们大家都熟知的蜘蛛人角色。他拿到六部片的合约。我们先来看单字 achievement。Achievement 是名词，它当可数名词可以表达成就、攻击。那么当不可数名词可以表达达成、完成、实现的意思。Chef 老在解释单字时，他用到 noteworthy 这个字 ，n o t e w o r t h y。Noteworthy 可以用来形容是显著的或是值得注意的。下一个单字 lifetime。Lifetime 表示一生、终生。我们可以用 the 名词 of a lifetime 来表达千载难逢的什么什么。好，再来看补充单字 carpentry。Carpentry 它是指木工、工艺，这是不可数名词。那我们把字尾 r y 改成 e r， 变成 carpenter。Carpenter 就可以指木匠喽。那我们最后来看四个重点。第一个。By the time 表示到什么什么的时候，在什么什么之前，用来引导时间副词子句。那它可以描述过去或是未来的情况。在描述未来情况时 ，by the time 引导的时间副词子句要用现在式表达哦。我们来看两个例句。By the time we got there, the show had already begun. 我们到的时候，表演已经开始了。好，那这边是在描述过去情况。By the time you come back, I will have finished my homework. 在你回来的时候，我就已经写完作业了。那这边特别注意 ，by the time 它接的是子句 ，you come back 这边是用现在式表达哦。好，再来看第二个重点 ，as well as 在这边是当连接词来表达还有以及。例如 ，Jane is smart as well as beautiful. Jane 聪明又漂亮。第三个重点 ，in case 在这边是表达以防、以免，就跟 for fear that 意思相同。那么 in case 后面接的子句常用简单式，例如 ，you'd better take an umbrella with you in case it rains。你最好带把伞，以免下雨。好，第四个重点 ，work out 当不及物用，可以用来表达它是顺利进展、是成功的。举例来说 ，their plan worked out。Perfectly, 他们的计划进展的很顺利，非常成功。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. At that time, America was divided by the Civil War. What was that war about? It was fought between America's southern and northern states. The southern states didn't want to be part of America anymore. They wanted to form their own country. They also wanted to make their own laws. Back then, it was still legal in the South to own slaves, but in the northern states, owning slaves was already illegal. Lincoln was against slavery. During the war, he put forth an order that freed 3.5 million slaves. In 1865, the war ended and the southern states lost. Today, there is a huge statue of Lincoln at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington D.C. You can also see words from his famous speeches carved in stone. Come visit and learn more about American history. Here is more information. Abolish. Many people want to abolish this law. Beard. The man has a long gray beard. Civil. The country is in the middle of a civil war. Coffin. The king's coffin is made of gold. Document. You have to fill out these documents before you can see the doctor. Establish. The school was established in the 1800s. Important. Being happy is more important than being rich. Leader. Hank is the leader of the soccer team. Portrait. The artist painted a portrait of his sister. Slavery. The USA 
had slavery for more than 200 years. Wasn't that a super interesting lesson? I know I thought so. We'll see you again next time. See you next time.